truly impressed by this new tool by Stanford University. This is a project called Storm, and it's a tool that will easily convert topics into long articles. You simply just describe what you want to create, and you will have a full generation of an article that is quite lengthy. And it's something that many of these other large language models cannot actually output. It's something that actually revivals Perplexity's pages, and it's so much better. Storm is a research prototype for automating the knowledge curation process. It's actually an open source research project from Stanford University to explore building AI systems to advance knowledge tasks, as well as human learning. To showcase an example, let me generate an article on the history and the future of tenure track system. I can simply click on this and I can have a full on article generated. We can see that it has generated the table of contents. It has generated multiple different sub articles as in like subtopics. And we can see that there's various different paragraphs to this and this was something that was generated within a couple of seconds with the help of storm now how does this all function well storm is basically going to simplify the process of generating long articles with citations in two main steps it has the pre-writing step and this is basically where the system is going to conduct internet-based research to collect the references and generates an outline based off of that Secondly, you have the next main step, which is the writing stage. And this is where it's going to reference that outline that we just created. And it's going to generate a full length article with citations. To basically automate the research process, it's going to focus on generating good questions to ask. And it will directly prompt the language model to ask questions that aren't actually effective. So Storm basically utilizes two other different types of stages to improve the question quality. This is quite impressive and it's a great way for you to basically have it so that you can generate longer context with the help of AI models. This is something that we're going to be exploring as we showcase the capabilities of Storm, how you can actually implement it and how you can generate your own long based article. So with that thought guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You get some sort of value. Stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Now, before we get started, I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants. And this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses, as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. So let's just get straight into it. How can you actually get started? Well, you can actually access the cloud demo where you're going to be able to generate various articles on the cloud. This is something that you can utilize completely for free, but you can also install this locally with different models. And this is where I'm going to be showcasing this. Now, first things first, you need to make sure that you have the prerequisites fulfilled where you need to make sure that you have Git install. This is an application that can help you clone repositories onto your desktop. You need to also make sure that you have pip installed and to do so there's commands that can easily install this so i'll leave a link to this in the description below make sure you install python as your programming language and you need to make sure that you have conda installed to make sure that you have a virtual environment created for this application once you have fulfilled all these prerequisites what you can do is copy this first command line and you can then head over to command prompt once you are in your command prompt, you can just simply paste this command in, click enter, and it's going to start cloning this repository. Once it finishes cloning this repository, you can then go into the directory by typing in CD storm, and then you can basically start up your virtual environment. To do so, you need to create your environment by doing conda create and pasting this command in inside your folder of uh, storm. You can then click on enter it's going to start creating this environment once you have done so you can then click on yes to proceed forward this will set this up and within a couple seconds we can then move on to the next step where you just need to simply activate the storm environment and to do so you just paste this command in click enter and you can see that we're in the storm environment and to do so to basically activate it you just need to paste in the next command which is pip install it's going to start installing everything that is necessary this will take a couple, couple seconds and then we can move forward by setting our api key 
So once you have your API key ready, as well as your U API, which is something that is needed for the search API, you then need to just open up your ID. In this case, I'm gonna open up Visual Studio Code. Now, what you're gonna need to do is create a new folder called secrets.toml. To do so, just create a new file and you wanna just basically type in secrets.toml and then you wanna click enter. Once that is done, you can then copy the segment where if you're going to be utilizing the open AI API key, just copy the segment. But if you're going to be utilizing Azure, you would want to copy the next segment and paste it into this over here. Now under this, what you're going to need to do is paste in your UCOM API and you can just put in a space, paste in this and you want to enter your API key over here so that you can utilize the API from UCOM. Once you have set your keys, you want to just simply go over the file and just click save. Now, what you can do next is go back to the GitHub repository and start running this. And it's easily as just copying this command, going back into your command prompt and just pasting this in. And I truly recommend that you read through the readme files because there's a great way for you to customize Storm even further. You can customize it for different additions to the pipeline. You can incorporate different retrieval models as well as having the ability to customize the language model. For example, you can include a cloud model or an open source model from Olama. These are things that will be taught through the readme. So I'll leave a link to the GitHub repository so that you can get started with this. So now that we have it set it up, we can actually start generating articles and this is where I'm going to be showcasing the cloud model because it's just way more user friendly and easier to set up and utilize. So what you can do is basically enter in the topic you want to create an article about and you can have it fully generated. You can see that there's various examples. You're also able to discover what other people have generated. So for example, there's a sustainability article that was generated with the help of Storm and you can see how detailed and how long this is. This is the power of Storm. And you can see there's also sources that have been listed. For example, there has been citations also incorporated where you can reference the generation for this. And this is where our, they did a great job in having it so that it can have a longer context generation for articles and sticking on track to one topic. You can see that there's also subtopics within that main category and it did a great job in generating this full on article. You have your own art library where you can reference your own generations. So in this case, I'm gonna now generate a topic on the world of AI world of AI and I'm gonna now type in to elaborate the purpose of writing this article. I want to create a detailed article that explains the scope of world of AI from machine learning to AGI. Now let's click enter and let's see what type of generation I'll get. You can see that it's going to first start off by identifying perspectives for researching this topic. This will basically take around three minutes to generate this full on article. This is where I showcase the full on steps that it will take. For example, surveying, it's going to focus on identifying perspectives, reading and asking Wikipedia as well as other sources. It's going to scrape through all these different sources and get the best information that is required it's going to then answer those questions and this is where i showcase that there's that two-step process in answering those questions it then moves forward to splitting the queries searching and sifting to it it's going to synthesize it and it's going to then add it through different references that you can actually refer to afterwards it's going to refine it and it's going to then have that generated towards you and there we go it took less than one minute and we have our world of ai article generated we can see that there's subcategories on the sub on the core concepts and the technologies in ai which we'll take a look at we have machine learning deep learning explainable ai neural networks applications of ai and you have all these references linked up to it you also have different categories on the applications of ai where it could be utilized in financial sectors educational healthcare, digital physical security and then there's also ethical and social social implications if we scroll down there's also a sub paragraph on addressing ethical concerns 
and for the future directions it's going to focus on agi which is just awesome so you can see that this full-on article was developed by storm and you can actually show this in a pdf you can download this so that other people can reference it and this was something that i was able to do within a couple of seconds this is the great part about storm where you can generate these full-on paragraphs as well as these articles and you can see that was, this was just a 10 page article on what the world of ai scope is and that's basically it for today's video this is a great way for you to generate long articles with the help of ai so definitely recommend that you try out storm it's an open source tool that you can get started with right away on the cloud so with that thought guys i hope you enjoyed today's video i'll leave all the links that i used in today's video in the description below make sure you follow me on the patreon because this is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free make sure you follow me on twitter make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas